Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Coding Demos. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how you can use a pop-up menu inside your app. So what I mean by a pop-up menu, so based on the, the Android documentation here, it says the pop-up menu basically displays a menu in a modal pop-up window anchored to a view. So this the pop-up will appear below the anchor view if there's a room or above it if there's if there's no room. So let me show you an example of what you're going to build in this tutorial. So here in the emulator I have this sample app. And what this what this does is basically it has a single view that's a button. When you tap on the button, then you would have this menu. So some call this menu as a pop-up menu, some they call it as a floating menu. So when you have this menu, you can you can actually click on either of the either one of these menu items to perform a certain action. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can display this uh, menu and how you can actually interact with the menu items. As you can see here I have these two items. When I click on the uh, the first item this will open up the the YouTube channel for coding demos. And here we have the channel. If we go back to the app and we tap on the second menu, which is the more Android tutorials. This will open up the the coding demos uh, official website. All right, so this is what this is what you're going to learn in this tutorial. So let's open up Android Studio and let's get started. What we have here is uh, two files. One is the Java file and one is the the activity underscore main dot XML file. We'll start with the XML file. And what we have here, okay, let me just close this to make some room for you guys so, so you can able to see what the view that we have here. All right, so we have here is this simple button with an ID that is uh, that's called button open menu and it has a width of 200 dp and the height is wrap content and the label is called coding demos. And the rest is basically the constraint that surround the button from the top, left, and right, so that the button is the button is actually positioned in the center of the screen. All right, we're done with the the XML file. Let's open up the Java file, and what we have here is uh, the button that we just added in the XML file. I've declared that on top, and I have referenced that based on this ID. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to uh, react or we need to handle the user action that's like when the user taps on the button we need to perform a certain action and that is to show the the pop-up menu to do that we need to call the uh, the button dot set on click listener so the button we have right here is the open menu so we'll do open menu dot set on click listener uh, new on click listener and inside the on click method here is where we're going to show the pop-up menu so the pop-up menu is, we do something like this. So it's pop-up menu. We call this pop-up menu equals to new pop-up menu. So here it takes two values or two parameters. So the first one would be the context of where you want to show this pop-up menu. We we'll want to show that inside the main activity which is the current activity here. So we'll pass main activity to this. And the second one, the second value is where do we need to attach this pop-up menu? Now, because we need to attach it to a button so that when you tap on the button, that's where we show the menu. So we attach this to the button. How do we do it? We'll just pass here the view. You can see we have view V. So we'll take V and now we're attaching the button. Sorry, now we're attaching the attaching the the menu to the button. Next thing is we need to set the uh, layout for the menu. Right now we haven't yet created a, a file for the menu, and to do that, just open up the the project directory, and you click on resource. You open that resource. Usually, you will have a folder that's called menu, but if let's say you don't have that folder what you can do is you can create that by yourself and you can do that by right click on the resource folder and then choose new 
and then all the way to the top here you have the Android resource directory you click on that and you basically give the directory a name for example uh, we'll call this menu and the resource type here you need to change that by clicking on this arrow here and you will have a list of other options what we want to do is we need to create a menu folder and you can see here we have this uh, option right here you choose it as a menu and then you click on OK we don't need to do that for now because I have the menu folder already created by by Android Studio okay so once you have the folder next we need to create the file for that menu and to do that you right click on the menu new and then you choose the the second option that says menu resource file you click on that you give the file a name we'll call this menu underscore pop up and you just click on OK so here understood you have created the file for us the menu underscore pop up dot XML file what you can do next is just add the the menu items add the menu items that you want to show up inside the pop-up menu to do that you open up the palette and you have these uh, different types of items that you can drag and drop inside the layout here here we're going to add a, a menu items two menu items so choose the menu items option here and drag it into the screen and you can see the moment you drag it will appear in the uh, in the XML file here as well we'll do this we'll do it for the second item as well okay so we've done we're done with dragging these items let me just close this and you can see how they appear here next is we need to change the title and we need to give it an ID so for the first title would be based on the, the example that we have if we go back to the app oops we go back to the app and you tap on the button the first title would be subscribe to the channel that will be the title for this so subscribe to the channel and for the second one the second menu item would be more Android tutorials more Android tutorials this second thing we need to do is we've set the titles now we need to give an ID for each item will be we'll do Android ID and we'll call this item underscore subscribe let me just copy this I'm gonna paste that for the second item as well and that will be uh, item underscore website let me reformat the code all right so we've added the items and their IDs we're right done with this file let me close this let's open up the main activity let me just close this as well we don't need that anymore all right so inside the pop-up menu here we have declared the pop-up menu next we need to set the layout for this pop-up menu and we'll do pop-up menu dot set and pop menu dot get menu inflator sorry get menu inflator dot inflate so when you call inflate it takes two parameters the menu resource file with, that we've just created and the menu that you want to attach or the menu that you want to show so we need to pass here the resource file and that would be r dot menu We'll start with R because R is for resource. Menu is the menu folder that we have in the, the project directory. And inside the menu is the menu pop-up file that we just created. You choose that and then comma. Here you pass in the menu that you want to that we want to show. So we want to show this for the pop-up menu. We'll do pop-up menu dot get menu. Alright next thing is we need to uh, we need to allow the user to taps tap on the menu items to do that we'll do pop-up menu dot set on menu items click listener choose that new on item menu click listener 
and inside the on menu click is that's where we're going to handle the user action so if the user taps on the first uh, item which is subscribe to the channel that will open up the youtube channel and for the second item that will open up the the coding demos website and to do that to react to these actions we need to use a switch so switch and the switch will be based on the item id so we'll do item dot get item id and for the first case that would be r dot id dot uh, that would be item underscore subscribe now if the user taps on the subscribe menu item what we're going to do is we're going to uh, direct the user from our app to the the YouTube channel to do that we'll, we'll use start activity for result sorry start activity and here we're going to pass new attempt and inside the attempt because we need to set because we need to direct the user to to open up a different uh, link then we need to use the action view and uh, we'll do intent oops it should be intent dot action underscore view and then comma then we'll do uri uri dot parse parse okay and what we're going to parse here is the actual url and that would be the youtube channel and you need to start the URL with HTTP, HTTP forward slash. And here we'll do www.youtube.com slash C slash coding demos. Now, one thing that I want to point out to you guys is you need to start if you want to, if you want to open up a URL, the URL should start with HTTP forward slash. If you don't know that, then the app would crash. So because I it doesn't uh, doesn't read a URL that starts with www it should be the the full HTTP. So you should include that whenever you want to direct the user to a browser or to an external link. All right, and then we'll do return true. Next, we'll do the same thing for the uh, the other item. That would be case r dot id dot item underscore website. When the user types on the second item, let me just copy this because that will be the same thing except that we need to change the URL and that would be from the YouTube channel to the official site. So www.codingdemos.com and don't forget to return true now and then by the and then for default the default would be return false okay let me remove this we don't need that anymore all right so what we did here is we've set the menu item the menu pop-up and we've uh, attached it to the view to the button so when the user taps on the button it will show the menu we've inflated the menu based on the layout file that we've just created and we've set the uh, the menu on item click listener so that it allows the user to taps on the menu items and when the user taps on the first item it will open up the youtube channel if they tap on the second item it will open up the the official site go to demo site and by default will return false. Final thing that you need to do is you need to show the uh, menu item. So we'll do a pop up, and there we have it. We can see the pop up menu appear in the autocomplete. Choose that, and you need to call the show. If you don't call this, then the pop up menu will not show up, even if you tap on the button. Now we've called this. Now it should, the menu should pop up to test that out. I have the emulator running click on the run button let's see how it looks like in the emulator all right so build is complete and we have the button here 
tap on the button and we have this menu items tap on the first item should open up the YouTube channel it's loading oops this site can be reached that is strange www oh okay I know what's the issue here there's an extra W sorry about that guys it should be three W Correct that for the other URL as well. So 3W. Okay, let's give this a run again. Alright, so build is complete. Tap on the button. Tap on the first item. Now it should open up the YouTube channel. And yes, it did. So it's loading, loading, and here we have the YouTube channel. If you go back to the app again, tap on the second item. More Android tutorials. This should open up the the coding demos official site all right so this is basically it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for watching and happy coding